In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use all of the features of Replit completely for free with no technical knowledge. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website that you can share with the world. And you can use this to create an unlimited number of websites with no technical knowledge. And I'm gonna try to make this the best vibe coding video you've ever watched. If that sounds good, I want you guys to leave a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on if you haven't yet, leave any comments that you have down below along the way. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use all of the features of Replit completely for free with no technical knowledge. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website from start to finish and host it. You don't need any technical knowledge. Anybody can use this video as a full tutorial guide. First, you're gonna go up here to the Google search browser. You're gonna type in antigravity.google, press enter you be presented of this website. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this button right here. From here, you're gonna select your operating system. You can choose Linux, you can choose Windows, and you can choose Mac. And I'm gonna choose Mac since I'm on a Mac Silicon. And from here, you can see anti-gravity was downloaded to my downloads folder. I'm just gonna double click. Once anti-gravity installer is open, you're gonna drag and drop. Wait for it to copy and install. So you can see here that we successfully installed anti-gravity. We're gonna double click to open. I'm just gonna press open. Once you have anti-gravity open, you should see a screen like this. What you're gonna wanna do is go to the top right, click on login with Google. You'll see this window open. From here, you're just gonna log in your existing Google account. Or if you don't have a Google Gmail account, you can click this create account button, enter a first name, enter a last name, and proceed with signing up for a brand new account. But since we have an account, we're gonna log in. After you logged in, it's gonna ask to authenticate from your Gmail with Google. Click on sign in. Once this pops up, click on allow. And once you're navigated back and this top window of the anti-gravity window changes, you see that you successfully logged in. By this point, we successfully set up anti-gravity. And I want to next, I'm going to show you how to vibe code and use all of the features of Replit to create a website. Next, you can go to any directory you want and create a brand new folder. I'm in my desktop. I'm going to right click, create a new folder. You can name this anything you want. I'll name it Tech Heaven Replit Website. And you can see here, it's a completely brand new folder that's empty with nothing in there. Next, you're going to go back to anti-gravity, click on Explorer, click on Open Folder. Next, you're going to navigate to the folder that we just created. So I did it in desktop and you can see here, Tech Kevin Replit Website. It's in my desktop. I'm going to click this once and you can see here the folder is empty. The project is empty. Click on Open. You should see something like this. Open the directory that we just created, the Tech Heaven Replit Website, where we're going to vibe code our website in. Now we're going to go back to your internet browser. We're going to find a website that we want to create. In your search browser, we just type in A-W-W-A-R-D-S into Google and you should click on this first link. And here is a lot of different cool websites that we can potentially recreate. So you can sort through and sort of look for something that you like. So I found something that I like. I'm going to click on, so I opened it up. I clicked on visit the site. I'm going to take the link and copy. So this is, I guess, the website. It's just like a marketing website that I want to get inspiration and recreate from. So once you have the website that you want to recreate, you're going to go back, back to anti-gravity. If you want, you can make this bigger like so. And from here, you're going to make sure you're in planning mode and you can switch the models. Right now, we're currently in Gemini 3 Pro. There's also Gemini 3 Pro Low, Cloud Sonnet 4.5, Cloud Soft Sonnet 4.5 Thinking, Cloud Opus 4.5 Thinking, and GPT model. I want to say, create me a React Tailwind website with inspiration UX and color and branding similar to, and you can just paste in any link that you want. I found that example from earlier. This is going to be a template website called Heaven Marketing. Make sure you complete the full UX and UI and do everything. And you know, since that website was blue, maybe we like something with similar to Hulu Green. You can make this prompt however you want. However you, want. you can also type it in for iOS apps, Android apps, websites, video games, and so forth. But I'm gonna show you how to get your website. So once you have your prompt ready, press enter. And you can see here, we have the empty folder right here. It's using all the features of Replit, right? Because Replit pretty much has different models and stuff, but something better than Replit is you can actually host it and you can actually use all of the models completely for free. Okay, so it looks like it's done. It it looks like it's done. Once you see this like complete message of like a walkthrough or it says it's complete, then you know it's completely completely, you know it's completely done. So it's saying I've completed the Kevin marketing website. It's a fully responsive React application with Tailwind CSS styled with Hulu Green inspired by the website link that we found, the SEO website that we found patterns. So you can run the site locally with NPM run dev. Open terminal, type in CD, go back to your desktop, go back to the location where we created the project earlier. You can see here that this is the same directory that we just created right now. You're gonna drag 
and drop it into terminal. So we typed in CD and then we dragged and dropped the, the location directory into terminal. Press enter one time. And next you're going to type in npm run dev. Press enter. You'll see a local host link. Take this link, copy, go back to your internet browser, open a brand new tab. This is the result of our website. Wow. We, can see we gave it an inspiration link and that helped a lot, right? Wow, I'm, I'm actually very impressed. This is a marketing website. Attention to detail. Look at this background uh, gradient color and we can make it smaller. Is it mobile friendly? Of course, it's mobile friendly as well. The hamburger button works. We use Hulu color inspired themes and we gave it inspiration link. Side by side, what do you guys think about the new website versus the inspiration link we use versus the website we just vibe coded with one single prompt? Can you imagine if you own some type of local company where you're maybe like a hamburger spot, a dental, a tech, whatever, and then you just share this link to people? People would think this is a very professional like website, right? It, it, it does look very, it's visually, it's perfect, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result right now. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you guys how to host the, this website completely for free. Right now it's currently on our local host. Go back to your browser, type in github.com. You'll be presented with this page. Next up, you're gonna need a GitHub account. If you don't have an account yet, click on sign up. You can, if you have your Google account, you can click on continue with Google, continue with Apple, or you can use email. Since we already have an account, we're gonna log in with our existing GitHub account. Once you're logged in, once you're successfully logged into GitHub, you should see a screen like this. You're going to create it. You're going to go to this green new button. Click the green new button. When you see this page, you're going to create a brand new repository. We're going to name the repository Tech Kevin Replit website. For the description, you can leave it blank. For visibility, you can choose public or private, depending whatever you need. Next, you're going to click on create repository. Once you're presented with this page, you know that your repository was successfully created. What you're going to want to do is see this quick setup section. You're going to click on uploading an existing file. Next, we're going to upload the files that we, next we're going to upload the files of the website we just created so you can see here this is the website project directory folder double click to open you're going to drag and drop every so you can see here you're going to drag and drop everything in do not copy this node underscore modules folder so we're going to drag and drop everything except that node underscore modules folder we're do we're drag and dropping everything except that node underscore modules folder and we're letting it upload and do its thing once you see every once you see everything uploaded, you're gonna click on you can you can just type in anything here. We'll just say create tech heaven replit website. Once it looks good, click on commit changes. Okay, there we go. So we uh, we created the GitHub repo repository. We, so okay, so there we go. We created the GitHub repository and we uploaded all of the files of the website we just vibe coded in. We just vibe coded. Go to your search browser, type in vercel.com, press enter, click on sign up, click on I'm working on a personal hobby project, enter your name, press continue. And now you're gonna continue with your GitHub account. Since we already have an account here, we're gonna log in with our existing account. Once you're successfully in, you're gonna click on this add new button. You're gonna click on project. Once you see this page pop up, we're gonna find the GitHub repository we just created. It should show the top one that we just created like two minutes ago. But if it's not there, you can also search for it. And you can see here, you can also search for it as well. Once you found it, click on import. Once you see this page, we're gonna create the brand new project on Vercel and to host it. For all of the settings, you're gonna leave it on the default. You're gonna click on deploy. You can see here the deployment is starting. We're just gonna wait for it to finish and set up. Next, you should get a congratulation screen that your website was successfully deployed to Vercel. Click on continue the dashboard. And then once you see this, this is just pretty much showing the, the link where it's at. You can see here tech heaven replit website dot app. Click that link. And you can see here, this is a live website right now. Tech heaven replit website dot app. Let me refresh it to make sure it's working. And this is, and there we go. This is the website that we vibe coded from one single prompt, Hulu inspired marketing website. And if you wanna just vibe code more features, more pages, all you have to do is just type in additional prompts here, but we can just accept all the changes and Pretty much everything looks good. So maybe if I was starting a marketing agency or something like that, then this could just be the marketing website. You can use this to create an unlimited website, any idea, anything that you want to create. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was the best vibe coding video that you guys ever watched. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on if you haven't yet. And then I'll see you guys again in the next video.